Hey, it's Maria. Hey, I'm Brooke. Thanks for joining us here on Mommy Unplugged. Today we're talking about a pretty serious thing. Yeah, there's been a lot of news coverage lately about um, mass shootings, gun violence in particular. With children. Yes. yes. That brings us to uh, this question that actually has been brought up to both of us about how you feel, basically gun etiquette, Right. how you feel about letting your kids play at their friend's home um, and would you ask if they have a gun in the house, first of all? And right. would you let them play at their house if you knew that they owned a gun? Right. Well, I mean, I was asking you, do you guys have a gun in your house? No, we don't. We don't. And I personally, I just, I really feel like we don't need to have one. Right. Um, I'm a big proponent of <laughs> law enforcement. And, right. and they're the ones that really should be carrying guns. Right. And in fact, we have a friend who is a police officer, very, very good friend, and he is very responsible. I would have no qualms about letting my little guy play with their son because I know how responsible he mm -hmm. is. But now that I think about it, I think I would ask that question. Right. If, if Gus were to come you know, to me and say, Mom, I want to play at so-and-so's house, right. I would kind of think about it now and, and, and right. maybe call up those parents and say, hey, um, just a couple of questions, you know, are you guys going to be home, mm -hmm. um, or is it just going to be the babysitter, or right. um, do you have a gun? <laughs> right. I think I, yeah. I think I would ask if you I have any know, weapons. I don't know if I would ask. I, I'm still on the fence about that. I mean, we have a gun in our house, and if somebody asked me if I had a gun in my house, I guess I would, I mean, honestly, I would answer honestly, but... I don't know how I feel about someone asking me that. So yeah, would you would you be insulted if someone asked know. you? I don't know. I I think the insinuation would be a little invasive. But then again, on the other hand, if I go and send my son to somebody's house from his preschool, will right. I ask them that and be like, "Do you have a gun in your house? And what's your name again?" <laughs> Maybe <laughs> it's not an icebreaker. So I I don't know. I guess I would have to weigh it out and see. Do I let my son go over to these people's house right. if I don't know them that well? I, it, exactly. I guess the bottom line is I don't think we would. Right. Let our kids go to you know, I mean, house. You we know, don't know them really Yeah, well. if you know them well enough, you've had conversations like this before, right. or you've met them in several times, and this is, comes out naturally in mm -hmm. conversation, so you make that judgment call. Mm -hmm. But that can always be the case. You mm -hmm. have an older son, and you know that when they go start going to school, you can't intimately know every single person that they right. hang out with in their entire family. So that's not necessarily totally realistic, but... I mean, I don't think anyone's going to argue with the fact that mm -hmm. gun safety and if you own a gun, that the responsibility is on you to mm -hmm. protect people in your house from discovering the weapon or mm -hmm. accidentally discharging it. I don't think anybody would argue that point, right? I don't, I, I don't think so. I mean, I think, so. I think if you own a weapon, that it's your responsibility to house it in a way that is safe so mm -hmm. that when children come to your home that you know they're not going to be in any mm -hmm. it's just there's danger. so there's so many stories that we hear and there's so many accidents right unfortunately about people being irresponsible right i mean i know the saying it's like guns don't kill people people kill people but irresponsible right. parents right um can uh, yeah i mean you, you hear it two-year-old just you know, killed right. himself because he was playing with well, and that's the other, gun. And that's the other thing, though, that, that he found. talk about is whether or not you should train children from a young age to not play with guns at all, whether they be toys or having them be around weapons and know that they're, you know, a dangerous thing, obviously, but mm -hmm. just don't let them be around guns at all. That way, when they do inco unco uncover a gun, that they don't want to touch it all because they've been told don't touch any guns, whether it's a toy gun or not a toy gun. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if that's realistic either. My son would is plays. He has lots mm -hmm. of toy guns. He has space guns. He has space guns. <laughs> he has yeah, a lot he's of space got like guns. And alien guns. He's got cowboy guns. <laughs> I mean, it's, sabers. Yeah, and like it's sabers. not realistic for boys. I think. So, so how would you handle that situation? Would you ask that question of your kids' friends, their parents? Um, give us your your tips on how you would handle it. Okay, so send it down below on, on the comments box. Oh, and make sure you subscribe. And, uh, and <laughs> then you the can link. comment. But we do, we first. do love to hear your comments, yes. and and we'll we'll definitely feature sure. some of how um, you guys handle that situation here on future the next mommy unplugged for sure. Thanks for watching. Bye.